Hi, the world is changing. It's becoming more multipolar as more and more countries come to the realization that the United States and European countries have been becoming rich of other countries, you know, stealing minerals from Africa and getting rich of that mineral. So, more and more countries are coming together to oppose that. India, Brazil, Russia, China, and South Africa started this group called the BRICS. And more countries want to join the BRICS. Now, recently, Iran and Saudi Arabia, you know, ended their beef. They ended their long-running hostility, which, by the way, was designed and created by the United States and Western countries to favor Israel. But back to the story is that there's this other issue of the ICC, International Criminal Court, which is a Western court that they use to intimidate African leaders. So this court issued an illegal arrest warrant against Putin, the Russian president. And now, yesterday, these Western countries intimidated South Africa that because they have heard the Russian president is planning to go to South Africa. He's traveling to South Africa next week. And they want South Africa to arrest the Russian president the moment he lands in Johannesburg. And Putin is going to South Africa to attend a BRICS summit. And today they are calling it BRICS Plus. And one of the agenda is to admit the new members, that is Iran and Saudi Arabia. And the other agenda is to discuss the petrodollar to end the dominance of the petrodollar. So in order to end that dominance, they want to adopt the Chinese yuan, what we call the RNBI, as the other secondary form of payment for crude oil. And a lot of countries in the BRICS have agreed on this. So this has scared the Westerners, the United States, because they have been getting rich of other countries' resources. They have been using the petrodollar, printing more currency, more dollars, without anything to back it up. So they want the South Africans to start the World War III by arresting the president of the world's largest nuclear superpower. So I'm going to play you a clip so that you understand wha what the South Africans think about it. And this is from one of their politicians, Julius Malema. ICC, Putin is welcomed here. And no one is going to arrest Putin. If needs be, we'll go and fetch Putin from the airport to his meeting. He will address, finish all his meetings. We'll take him back to the airport. We're not going to be told by this hypocrite of the International Criminal Court who know the real violators of human rights, who know the murderers of this world. That former uh, premier, uh, uh, prime minister of uh, Tony Blair admitted that they made a horrible mistake when it comes to Saddam Hussein. They've not been charged today. Bush is still there. They have not been charged till to date. And then Obama killed Gaddafi. And then nothing has happened. We are here today with Libya being destroyed and unable to recover because of America. We know very well that where NATO gets involved, those are terrorists. We know very well where the U.S. says we are going in to uh, install peace. That place will never know peace as long as America has visited that place. So we don't want uh, ICC's hypocrisy to apply here in our country. President Putin is welcomed. We know our friends. We know the people who liberated us. We know the people who supported us. In Kutokonaval, the weapons that were used in Kutokonaval that led to the liberation of South Africa were coming from Russia. Russia supplied us with weapons in Kutokonaval. Cuba supplied us with soldiers. MK was drunk. 